box. I am so lucky to meet him. I have to go and greet him. Hello, Mr. Fox. Oh, I think someone comes. Ugh, it turns out to be a silly cat. Hello, Mr. Fox. What happened to him? Hello, Mr. Fox. How are you? Oh, oh, this silly cat. Who do you think you are? You don't have a right to talk to me. You just get out of here. Don't disturb me. I have to take a nap now. Why do you insult me? Don't I deserve to talk to you? <laughs> do you think you deserve to talk to a wise fox like me? What have you learned? What skills do you have? Each kind of animal has their own skill. I also have my own skill. Skill? What kind of skill do you have? I have only one skill. What is it? Climbing trees. When the dog chases for me, I can climb a tree to save my life. How can you call climbing trees a skill? You're so stupid. Have you ever heard about the magic bag? I master hundreds of skills. When I open the bag, I can do everything with my magic. Moreover, I am wise and I can contrive. But you, you're a silly cat. No one knows you. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you! Stop it! Get out of here! Don't stand here and disturb me! Oh, he is too bad! Oh my god! Tiger! 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 Open your magic bag! Quickly, open it now! Oh, help me! How can you run away from me? It is so pitiful that I cannot catch that wild cat. You were so wise and skillful. If you only had the ability to climb like me, you may not have been caught. The Tale of Sagittarius Once upon a time in the Isle of Crete of Greece, there was Philira, a beautiful goddess who gave birth to a child with a grotesque appearance. Oh, mighty Zeus, my child! Why does he have four legs like a horse? Philyra, take your bastard to Mount Pelion, otherwise you'll never be allowed to stay in Crete. <laughs> well, all day long I just caught this little rabbit. These days the farmers at the foot of the mound seem to be well living. Let's go down there to get something from him. You're right, brother. Let's go down there and take anything we can. Oh, mighty Zeus! The centaurs! How can I be ruthless to leave my son for them to raise? Dear gods of the sacred Olympus, I'm Philira of the Isle of Crete. All are due to my foolish belief in a married man. Gods! Please accept this child and protect him. He's innocent. For me, I'm willing to transform myself into a body tree in the shrine's courtyard. For all my life, I will endure the sunlight and rain to repent my sin. Well, the child is so cute. May I adopt him? Apollo, the god of light, do you really want to raise this half-animal child? You will encounter a lot of troubles. Athena, the goddess of wise, are you here too? This child is innocent. 
His smile is so charming. If he grows under my care, he will absolutely become a good man. From now on, you will be called Chiron, and I will be your guardian who protects you. And since then, Chiron grew up in the care and love of Apollo and his sister Artemis. Let me play with you. Look, it's Chiron the centaur. Go away, nobody wants to play with you. Ah, run, Chiron the centaur, he wants to kill us. Ugh. You misunderstand me. Chiron, you know this day will come. You're just the offspring of violent thugs, the lesser centaurs. Chiron, why did you shoot your arrows at your friends for revenge? No, you guys misunderstand me. I just wanted to kill the poison snake, which was about to bite them. Well, now you are lying also. No, I did not lie. The children have told me everything. They are very scared. I never think that. Well, go to the mountain cave and stay there. Huh, I didn't do anything wrong. Oh. And since then, Chiron lived alone in the mountain cave where he grew up to be a strong man. One day, there was a girl who had been on her escape lost into the place of Chiron. She was wounded so heavily, I must stop the bleeding first. Ah, ah, who shot me? Hercules, what happened? There is a centaur who is about to harm a girl, my goddess. Chiron, what did you do to her? She was wounded. I just wanted to save her. Hmm, this centaur is so cunning. Look, her dress was loose. You surely just did something to her. I've never thought that you would finally become such a bad guy like this. You two misunderstood. I truly didn't do anything wrong. Artemis, take the girl to Apollo for treatment. And this centaur, he was hit by the arrow contaminated with the blood of the seven-headed monster, Hydra. He will die soon. After that day, Chiron lived with a painful wound day by day. He walked around the world to find a cure, but it was all in vain. Apollo! Apollo! Hmm! <clears throat> Go away! You are poisoned with the blood of the seven-headed monster Hydra. Even Apollo can't help you. I just want to express my gratitude to my two respectful teachers. Maybe today is the last time I come here. Goodbye. Please take good care of yourself. How unfortunate. Chiron is a smart guy. It's such a regretful thing that the centaur's blood flowing in his body made him a man of violence. It... It hurts! It hurts! Who are you? Who made you suffer like this? I'm Prometheus, the god who created humankind. Because of stealing fire from the gods and giving it to humans, that I was chained here by Zeus. Only until there is a god who is willing to grant me his immortality will I be freed. Go away, young man. Don't stay here unless you will get yourself in trouble. Unfortunately, I have no immortality to give you. Even if you have, you will not grant it to me. Everyone is afraid of death. Immortality is nothing to me. I'm poisoned with the blood of Hydra. Every day, I have to endure terrible pain. I would rather die. Why? Why can it happen? By what means that the wound is healed? If only. You're immortal? Hey, who is your parent? I, I'm an infant. My mother is the goddess Phylaira of the Isle of Crete. Your mother is Phylaira? So your father is not a centaur? He is Cronus, a titan, my old friend. 
She loved Kronos, but didn't know that he had been a married man. One day, his wife discovered that love affair, so he transformed himself into a horse and ran away. That is your father. My father is a god? That is why you will not die, even if being poisoned with the blood of Hydra. You will just suffer the pain from it. So, I will be just like him. I will live forever with an unhealable wound. What's wrong? Why aren't you happy when knowing that you're immortal? I was born to be the embodiment of hurt. Thanks to the teaching of Apollo, I have always tried to be honest and help everyone. That is the only meaning that makes me want to live. But now this wound made me a helpless god. What is the meaning of immortality now? I, Shiron the Centaur, agree to take the place of Prometheus and grant my immortality to him. Shiron, you're crazy! Shiron, no! Come back! The heroine in the forest woke up and told us everything. She told us that you had saved her. We're so sorry for not believing you. Come back! Shiran, just because of your appearance, we've treated you as a centaur and forgot the fact that you are a smart man with a kind heart. Please forgive us. Don't be sad. Only death can save me from this painful immortality. Prometheus will do more good things and be worthier to live than me. Oh, no! Chiron! Chiron! Eyes. Over this world, everyone wishes immortality at any cost. But Chiron has sacrificed himself for a stranger. Finally, the sacrifice and kindness of Chiron touched the heart of Zeus. The soul of Chiron was transformed into an internal constellation on the sky, to which all gods and humans expressed their respect. The constellation was called Sagittarius. Sagittarius.